All right, kids. Well, for anyone who has been following this, that is the uh, version one of the day trading app finished. Uh, it's pretty simple and it looks totally crap, but I am very excited about this. I think it's what it actually does is kind of cool. And even though it looks rubbish and it's not very secure, that's fine because I'll be just running this thing from home, you know. So just as a very quick reminder, the vibe is that every 30 seconds, I think, we have this Node.js thing reading prices from the stock market, from Google Finance, actually. And then we are populating uh, this MySQL database table with the uh, stock symbol, price, last trade time, and the date added as a Unix timestamp. So we have so far 43,721 prices. This thing has been pretty uh, busy. And if we want, we can click in and have a closer look at some of the uh, different prices. Green means we're going higher, obviously. Red means it's been a bad day. So uh, it's been a good day for Starbucks. Let's have a little look here. And we have a little chart and it tells us how much the stock has moved that day, the percentage of change. We have a nice candlestick chart. We have the highs of the day, the lows and all that stuff. Uh, here's General Electric, they had a pretty duff day. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then every time this thing records the prices, it also runs a thing, um, a script called Stock Alerts. And it attempts to create a stock alert, right? So you see this attempt alert. Um, and basically it says, well, is an alert to due? Are we due to create an alert, right? So an alert would be something like, hey man, you should trade Yahoo, it's going up or something like that. So in order to see if an alert is due, it does a bunch of tests, I think five in total. So the first test is, is this a weekday? It's a really simple algorithm, you know. Is this a weekday, Monday to Friday? If it's not, then there's no alert due. Is the time between 4.30 and 5.30 London time? I've actually found that this is the time of day when the stock market appears to be at its most predictable. There's no hysteria like you get at the start or the end. It's kind of a stable time, you know? So that's the second test. Third test is, is this an overall positive or negative day? So with this third test, I'm looking at this stuff here and I'm seeing do we have 70% or more of these major stocks going green or 70% or more of the major stocks going red, right? That's the next test. Um, then we have have any stocks moved in the opposite direction from the majority by X percent. I'll just save that. Okay, so um, that's the vibe right now. The, the score with this, just so you know, we have up days and we have down days and we have sideways days, right? Today was an up day. So on a day like today, day type equals up, I'm looking for a stock that has moved by minus 0 0.8 of a percent. I was going to make it um 1.5 percent here, but I think I'd be here like all year, you know, 0 0.8 should be fine. So I'm looking for something like um, this here, like General Electric. It has moved by more than 0.8 of a percent. Do you see that? And according to the system, this would be due for a correction. So that's all that is. And you can change these percentages and tweak them and what have you. Um, all of this thing, th this whole thing is really simple. I mean, there's there's nothing here that anybody who has been playing around with PHP for a few weeks couldn't pick up. It's really, really simple. Um, so what else have we got? Right, okay, so have any stocks moved? Uh, oh yeah, and the last test is, have we already sent an alert today for the anomaly stocks? I'm calling anomaly stocks the ones that have gone the opposite direction from the herd, like uh, Netflix here, okay? Although, in the case of Netflix, there's 
probably good reason why it went the other way, but uh, let's not go there just now. Uh, there's some exceptional stuff going on with Netflix. Anyway, um, when we decide that an alert is due, okay, after we've run this as alert due, so if an alert is due, uh, we need to create at least one alert. So we basically find all the stocks that have moved the opposite direction by more than our target percent. We get them together. Um, we then create an alert. Now, hang on a second. Oh, yeah. We check if we've already sent an alert today for this stock. Remember, we have the date and time recorded and all that. And if not, then we just create an alert. And the alerts table um, looks something like this. Structurally, it's just ID, stock symbol, message, date created and sent, which would be a zero if it's not sent and a one if it is sent. The message would typically be something like, um, I'll show you actually a pretty basic message. Um, one second. Gee, what would the message be like? Yeah, it would be something like that. So, uh, go long or go short, you know, uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, if we just check this out, yep. So, the message equals the stock symbol with a little colon. And then it will say go long or go short. So if this thing is basically going to send a message to your mobile phone saying uh, something like Yahoo, go long, you know, and that's the idea. And if the thing is doing its job properly, basically the fairy tale is that you never need to look at another chart again and you can have your alerts. Now, that's not the case by a million miles. But remember, folks, this is just like version one, and I'm really just playing around with this stuff. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm going to upload this to GitHub. If anyone wants this, I'll leave it there for a week, and then I'm going to take it down, I think. If anyone wants this, feel free. Um, in future versions, there's a ton of things that you could do to make this so much better. For example... It would be nice if instead of every 30 seconds, it was checking the markets maybe every two seconds or something like that. It would be nice, obviously, to uh, come up with more sophisticated algorithms. I would love to have something that detected certain chart movements like bull flags and double tops and heads and shoulders and all of those chart patterns that you hear about. It would be cool to build something like that, you know. Um, it would be cool to build something that could detect breakout points and things like that. And you know what would be really cool? If you could actually uh, program the thing so that it automatically entered into a trade and then closed a trade when it, you know, turned the opposite direction. These are all potential future upgrades, but in the meantime, this is just a basic thing to kind of um, show you that this kind of thing is possible with PHP. You don't need to buy all of that fancy stuff and all of that. You can come up with your own programs, monitor the stock markets, and have a fun packed time. Okay, so there you go. It's not much to look at, but I hope somebody somewhere has got something from this. Stay cool. Catch you later. Bye.